quintessential summertime dessert, and it's popular in North America and in Europe. I'll start with the fundamentals, showing you a North American classic farmhouse strawberry shortcake. Then, I'll advance the technique with a more British version, strawberries and cream sponge cake. After that, I can up the ante with a French-inspired Fraser tort. This is the epitome of strawberry shortcake elegance. And for the finishing touch, I'll turn all those shortcake elements into beautiful individual strawberry shortcake trifles. Now, this North American version is the simplest. I'm making basically a scone recipe, and it's scone meets cake. It's soft and tender and has a little sweetness to it. And I start with two cups of all-purpose flour and a quarter cup of sugar. I add a tablespoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of baking soda. I'll also add half a teaspoon of salt, and for a little bit of a zip, just a touch of lemon zest. A traditional shortcake base in this North American style is usually kept quite neutral. You don't have to add a lot of flavors. It's about the simplicity. There we go. And now I have a quarter cup of unsalted butter. And I just use my fingers and work the butter into the dough, pressing the butter. This is a farmhouse style shortcake, so you don't need fancy equipment or mixers. Simple hand mixing is satisfying and does the job. Once you find those butter pieces soften up a little bit, I actually switch the technique. I flatten the butter between the palms of my hands. You still want visible pieces of butter, but by flattening them, it ensures that the scone will bake up flaky. There you go, so it's still a rough, crumbly texture because it's really not a lot of butter. Now what gives the shortcake recipe its moisture is buttermilk. And I take it cold from the fridge because I want to keep the butter pieces in there cool. And I'll measure two-thirds of a cup. Now buttermilk has an acidity to it and that really is what kicks the baking soda into action. And I just stir it to start moistening the dough a little bit. But I love to bring a shortcake dough together by hand. So I'll turn this mess right out onto my work surface and dust my hands. And as I'm working in the buttermilk, I'm flattening the dough. This is a great tip for a beautifully flaky scone or shortcake. As you're bringing the dough together with your hands, flatten it out and fold it over. Just like making puff pastry, this builds in beautiful flaky layers so that you have those delicate flaky scones every time. And now you can see the dough has come together. And because this is such a basic shortcake recipe, these are ready to roll and get into the oven. I'll roll this out to a rectangle, about 16 by 10 inches. Here we go. Now this is ready to be cut. I'm going to cut this into eight little rectangles. And you can see inside that flakiness has now been worked in. So I'll line these up on my baking tray. To finish them off, just a brush of egg wash, a little egg mixed with a touch of water, gives it a nice shine on top. And there we go. These are all set. Shortcakes bake in a hot oven, 375, and they take about 18 to 20 minutes. You'll see them puff up, virtually double in size, and turn a nice golden brown on top. Oh, beautiful golden brown. Now, of course, I have to let those cool before I fill them, and I have some that have already cooled. So I've just whipped up a cup of whipped cream, and I just add to that a touch of sugar. And then for the finishing touch, just a little bit of vanilla. And this instantly transforms everyday whipped cream into something called Chantilly cream. So if you ever see that on a menu, you know that's simply whipped cream with a little added vanilla to it. I'll stir that in. I'll take one of the shortcake scones, give it a little slice, now something to keep in mind, if you're serving strawberry shortcake, you want to assemble these right before you serve them. Nice dollop of the whipped cream. 
on the base. And of course, you can't have strawberry shortcake without the strawberries. Oh, natural, I don't add anything to them. Generous spoonful of strawberries cascading over top. Top it with the biscuit. And the finishing touch, just a dusting of icing sugar on top. There's something so immensely appealing about that combination of cake, cream, and berries. But next, I'll cross the pond and advance the technique showing you a British version, a strawberry.